As the former head of global media and sports marketing at Anheuser-Busch, my next guest was annually named one of the most powerful people in sports by publications including Business Week and Sporting News. And since leaving the company after InBev's purchase last year, he's founded his own management group called The Leverage Agency, one of the fastest growing sports and entertainment sales group. His newest role, investor and advisor to Legacy Direct, a sports and entertainment brand management firm, Tony Ponturo. Welcome to Bloomberg News. Thanks, Laura. So talk about those famous Clydesdales. What was your role? And really, it was such a brilliant way to draw in the American consumer. Well, you know, our job was to continue the, the sort of the legacy, no pun intended, of the Clydesdales. Gussie Bush gave a Clydesdale to his father after Prohibition, and they really became the symbol of the modern-day Anheuser-Busch. And they're a great icon, and we used them in Super Bowl commercials for years. And a lot of people remember the holiday Clydesdale with the... With the with the uh, wagon and, sure. and going through the snow. So it's, it's a great icon for Anheuser-Busch. So talk about the industry for sports marketing in general right now. What are the general trends you're seeing? Well, you know, I think we went through a tough last 14 months. You know, what really does drive sports marketing and media is the advertisers, the marketers. So as everyone was going through those tough financial times, um, that put a little strain on the business. But the one thing we're seeing is that the audience, the consumer, the fan, even with all the technology and all the choices we have, are still big sports fans. And we're seeing it. We saw it in the World Series with the Yankees and, and, and Phillies. Uh, NFL is seeing great ratings. And we're starting to now see the advertising community sort of come back and realize if we're going to have a good 210, we're going to have to start marketing. Okay, so you're currently an investor strategic business development advisor for a firm called Legacy Direct. Talk about that and also talk about the segue to this from Anheuser-Busch for you. Well, you know, after 26 years at Anheuser-Busch, um, there was a way of how do we put things back into sports? You know, how do we do some good things after we've taken a lot out of it? Mark Rockefeller and Ken Brenner co-founded Legacy Direct. And basically what it is is a company that is trying to give professional help both in the charity and the philanthropic efforts with sport, at, sport athletes and sports teams. Are you agents or is it different? No, it's really just uh, my role is to help them get introduced to people in the sports community that I basically grew up with with all these years. Their job is to bring professional uh, help and expertise to these areas. So among your clients, Major League Baseball player Shane Victorino, LPGA golfer Natalie Gulbis, I hope I'm pronouncing That's her correct. names correctly. So give us an example of how you are helping to enhance their respective careers. Well, what you, what you do is what are the charities that you're interested in and how do we find a way to do good for those charities, help raise money, but also put yourself out in front. Many of these athletes, obviously their career, their professional career is short. But what are they going to do with that career afterwards? So how do they be sort of role models in the community? How do they get involved in their communities? How do they do good things in their community? And this is sort of the guidance that we're trying to do. And then how does your firm make money? Is it uh, on a percentage basis? Well, what you do is either the agents or the athlete themselves mm -hmm. or sponsors of those athletes can help contribute to this uh, effort in order to put these programs together. Something else we have to talk about. You're co-producing a Broadway play based on the life of Pro Football Hall of Fame coach Vince Lombardi. So tell me this, how are you going to combine the rough and tough football crowd with the more, oh, how do we say this, the, the Broadway <laughs> the crowd? Broadway we'll just leave it at that. Well, well, the analogy we use as we were putting this concept together, and Fran Kirschner is my partner on this, is said, okay, the right side of the orchestra has to be the people that go see Mammoth Plays and God of Carnage and August Osage County throwing some Broadway shows at you. And then the left side of the audience has to appeal to the football fan and the people that say, I'm never going to go to Broadway but I like to see this story. So we have about a year to, to put this together, and uh, hopefully uh, about a year from now we'll see if we pull this off on the stage. All right, Tony Pontro, the chairman of the Leverage Agency. Thank you Thank so you, much for joining us. Good luck with all of your endeavors. Thanks. All right, Disney is reporting earnings after the bell today.